everyone, it's Maki here. The release date for the movie Gundam Seed Freedom is approaching, isn't it? Today, I'd like to discuss some small topics such as products that will be sold in conjunction with the movie's release and products for which information has been announced. Little by little, information that raises anticipation is starting to emerge. First up is the announcement from Tomashi Nations. It has been mentioned that new products from Metal Robot Spirits and Chogo King will be officially announced soon. These products are set to feature characters from Seed Freedom. For Metal Robot Spirits, the product on an uprising Freedom Gunnam and Immortal Justice Gunnam has already been officially announced. It seems that new mobile suits will be productized. The point that they will be officially announced soon is drawing the attention of fans. There are predictions that mobile suits appearing towards the end of the movie will be announced after the movie's release. I also think that's highly likely. Among fans, there is speculation that the Gundams piloted by Kira and Dathra might be powered up or switch to enhanced mobile suits like Strike Freedom Gunnam or Infinite Justice Gunnam. It might be those Gunnams. Another possibility is the Akatsuki, as suggested by the title of a book shown in the promotional video, which some fans predict. Additionally, it's a traditional direction in the Seed series for a Gundam-type enemy to appear at the end of the story, perhaps a Gundam piloted by a rival character like Ophi might make an appearance. Another product is Chogo Ken. This line is not limited to humanoid robots. While many humanoid products are released, this line also includes non-humanoid items. The product concept includes not only staying true to the specifications, but also pursuing the joy of prey for children. Perhaps towards the end of the story, a large mobile armor that appears or a large mobile armor used by Kira and others to fight such enemies might be productized. In the Seed series, a large equipment called Meteor appears. Meteor is also very popular, and many fans are hoping it will appear in the movie. And in the planning stage of Meteor, there was an idea to introduce one of the two units under the name Invoke. It would be very exciting if a weapon named after the first theme song of the TV Ani appears towards the end of the movie's story. Let's look forward to these products. Next is a product sold in Japanese convenience stores. A media product in the form of a newspaper will be available. I've noticed comments on my show about traveling to Japan to watch the movie. This product is not available in hobby shops, so if you're interested, head to a convenience store. The content is written in Japanese but it has been announced that it will feature large illustrations, making it a worthwhile item for fans to check out. It includes articles like an interview with the producer, diagrams explaining the relationships between the factions in the story, and an interview with the performer and theme song artist Takonori Nishikawa. The price is 600 yen, which is about $4 according to the exchange rate, on January 20th. The product is named Sports Ho Chi Mogo Suit Gunnam Seat Freedom Special Edition. Please note that it will be released on January 27th. If you're traveling to Japan on the day the movie is released, it will be before the product is available. The sales announcement states it will be available in major convenience stores. Specific store names have not been disclosed, but it's likely to be available in shops near cinemas. Here's a phrase you can show to the store staff to ask if they have the product. If you're planning to travel to Japan and want to look for this item, you can take a picture of this screen with your smartphone and show it to the crowd 
to smoothly ask you a question. The phrase is I would like to buy the sports Ho Chi Moh suit Gangnam Seat Freedom Special Edition. Do you sell it in the store? Promotions for the movie are ramping up. Recently, Sun Leo, a popular character company in Japan, released a support illustration. As of now, no products featuring this illustration have been announced. I can feel the effort put into such promotions. It's evident that Sunrise and Bandai have high expectations for the Seed series. If it achieves great success, it might continue as a staple Gundam series, much like the Universal Century series. The Universal Century series has continued to release many works even after the disappearance of characters like Emma Oway and Shara's novel from its narrative world. The movie could mark the beginning of a new era for the Seed series. Let's look forward to it with anticipation.